Hello everyone, this is uh, Stuart, the pre-sales engineer at GSLAM. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use GSLAM desktop, which is the local processor. Um, just a quick quick point about GSLAM desktop. When you, uh, when you buy desktop, you get given a couple of bits. Uh, one is a USB stick, which contains the the install files and instructions on how to install GSM desktop onto your computer. The other is a security dongle which you need to have inserted when you uh, when you want to process something locally on your computer. So you'll be sent out uh, these two little gizmos um, and once you've installed uh, GSM desktop uh, it just installs as an application on your computer so we just fire up I can give you a quick tour before we process something. So this is what it looks like. I'll just extend it out so you can see. Um, there's no login or anything. It's just like an app on your uh, on your computer. So you can see uh, at the moment it's saying it's offline. Um, so you have to click the start button before you want to do any processing. Um, You've got the two sections, you've got processing engine, which is telling you about uh, how much power the engine's got on this side, and over here it's got your PC, so it's telling you how much power, is, how much uh, memory and processing power is available on your computer. And you've got the two drop downs uh, for, for each, for the view details, so you can just click the little arrow on the side and it gives you a little bit more information about, uh, about your computer, the amount of memory you've got and about what's required by the processor. So uh, to start processing, um, you just click the start button, simple enough. It'll run through a startup process and all you need to do is just follow the instructions on the screen as they come up. So it says it's starting. You just need to wait for the system to fire up. Um, and now you can see it's saying please insert dongle. So that's the security dongle that I mentioned earlier. So you won't be able to do any processing without that dongle. So and at the moment it's showing up as, as red. So if I just put the dongle in, insert it into the USB uh, drive on your computer and it's now checking the dongle. It's checking that it's the correct dongle uh, for this uh, for this uh, processing engine. Um, each dongle is assigned um, to a particular scanner so you have to make sure you, you're using the right dongle uh, otherwise you won't be able to do the processing of the job. Uh, the actual job uh, scan we're going to process today is um, just a scan of our office. Um, I don't know if you follow our Twitter feed then this is the scan that, uh, that we did last week. Um, so we did the inside and the outside of our office and we got it all scanned and processed within an hour. So we're just gonna run, we're just gonna process the same, the same file. Uh, these are some screenshots that we did when we made it. So we know it takes, we took about 29 minutes to process. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get it processing and then we're gonna, um, then we're going to come back when it's done and we'll open up the data in uh, Cloud Compare and have a look at it. So it's now saying uh, ready to process. Uh, you click on process data. The, the dongle now has is, is gone green, it's now got a tick. And it's saying that two scanners, there's two scanners which can be used with this dongle. Um, so it gives you a little bit of information about, about what, uh, what works with this dongle. So, click on the process data button, it takes you to the data page. Uh, there's an area here at the top where you, you just drag and drop your, your raw data sets uh, that you get off your USB stick from your scanner. So I'm just gonna, I've already got my USB stick plugged in. So if I just go down to that drive. Uh, so these are all scan jobs I've got on my USB stick. Uh, this is the one here that we want. The one at the top, um, it's just over 100 megabytes in size. So, and all you do is click on the file, the folder rather, drag and drop until it goes green, 
Um, I've already got it in there because I processed it last week, so it's yes, it's fine to replace it because I want to process it again. You'll then see that uh, it's now importing the file. And now it started to process that data set. So what I'm going to do is stop the video there and we will come back when that data has processed and then we'll take a look at it. Okay, see you in a minute. Right, welcome back. Um, the, the scan is now processed. Uh, the, the BDI'd amongst you will have noticed that the time when I set the processing was about 4.47, I think. It's now 17 minutes past five. So you know I'm telling the truth. You know it took about half an hour. Um, so there's our, there's our scan. It's now got the green tick. It's incomplete. Uh, by the way, these ones here below are just previous uh, scan jobs that I've uh, uploaded. So it'll just uh, create a little jobs list of all previous scans. Uh, you've got some options you can delete, which I don't want to do. Um, you can reprocess. Uh, that's if you have um, an issue with the scan. If something goes wrong and there's sort of error, yeah, you can then uh, have the scan. You can reprocess the scan. And the third one, which is save results as, and that's what we want to do. I want to click on that. Uh, you then just choose wherever you want to save your your results file. Um, I'm just going to put it on the desktop just to be easy. Just save it there. Um, it will save your result and then it will ask you uh, if you want to open and have a look at your results um, in a moment. So we just need to wait for that message to crop up. Well, maybe I'll go and find them. Let's just find them on the desktop. Let's find our results. Those are... Uh, oh, there we go. There it is. Well, I found them here now anyway. These are my results. So, this is my results folder. Now, there's some point cloud stuff in there which you can ignore. This is because I went on to open my data in uh, point cab point cab um, what we're interested in what we're looking at here is the las and you can see the file of the uh, the size of the file is now 825 megabytes or 826 to round up um, you can see we just go back to twitter and look at our data again you can see it matches it's 825 so this is what we're this is what we're looking for. This is our, the end result that we're hoping to get. So let's let's uh, let's open up our file in Cloud Compare and let's see what we get. Get some other bits open here. Let's just to open up your LAS. All you need to do is just drag and drop. It's really simple. Um, I just keep out all the uh, standard defaults ticked, so I just click apply. And it's going to bring in our uh, cloud. Looks like we've got about 30 million data points in this data set. So it should be nice and detailed. Yeah, and there we have, if I make this full screen, there we have there we have a building, there we have an office. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Move around. So at the moment as how the data comes in, it's all uh, colored by time. So it runs through the spectrum of colors from uh, blue through to red. Uh, we can change that in Cloud Compare. We can make that a little bit more intuitive. We can color by height, building height or elevation. So you just need to click on the, the cloud to select it. Got edit colors, height ramp. Again, I'm just gonna leave all the defaults there. So I just click okay. Nothing will happen here. You just need to click on 
change from a scalar field to RGB and then you'll see your cloud has now changed to a height ramp. So you can see the highest elements here up in the trees at the back it's becoming a, a red reddish colour and down at the bottom level it's a colder green colour. So you've got a bit of a height ramp there. Uh, let's just take a quick look at our data before we finish up. Let's uh, view it from above. What I'm going to do quickly is before I cut a section through the middle of it, I'm just going to straighten it up. I'm going to rotate it round so it's perpendicular. You can also move your data set. I like to move it up here and make sure I've got it lined up against the side of the screen. That'll do. That'll do for now. Then, drag back to the middle. I'm now going to cut. a uh, section through oh, get dead level from above let's try that again cut a section through the data and then see how that looks yeah you can now see right through, like a cross section through the whole building. What it does when you do it, it doesn't actually delete the uh, the part you've uh, removed, it actually just it splits the cloud into two. So, and you can just turn on and off the visibility, so turn off the whole cloud so we can just see the section through, through the office there. Um, and you can see there's a lovely, a real lovely level of detail that's been captured in there. So uh, I think we'll call it a day there. Um, that's just run you through the basics of uh, processing your data using GSLAM desktop. Uh, no internet connection required whatsoever. Um, it's uh, nice and quick. Like I say, we managed to do this whole scan of the office right through from start to finish in just under one hour. So it's nice and rapid and uh, it's really easy to use as well. So I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you've learned something. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.